Today I'm going to be making the Ten Rings from Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings. I know that the movie came out last year, and it actually came uh, almost a year ago from today. Sorry. There's a new She-Hulk. She-Hulk's about to come out, and, and Abomination's in it, just like in the Shang-Chi movie. So all you're going to need for this is, is cardboard, scissors, tape and you're going to need either paint or spray paint. I'm going to be using spray paint because it's quicker. Now what you're going to want to do was, what I did was, I cut down here of a box and then down here of a box. Then I just cut it off of the buttons. So then you have this crap. But then you're going to need like a marker, a pen, or a pencil and you're going to draw a line straight here. So let me go with that one. All right. So then what I did was I uh I did I counted five and then went over to the sixth one and then I colored on it. You might you might not be able to see. I'll give it closer up. Don't think you can really see it though. But then you cut straight up from the sixth line that you colored on or drew on, and then you'll get this, and then you will fold it in like this. Then you'll fold it in from this. So this is on the outside, and then whatever's on the back is on the inside right here. Do it up around like that, and then you could connect it like this. But we're not connecting it just yet, because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all these out, all, and then I'm going to do the same thing with those. So I have to all ten, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray paint all of them. So I would not curve it down until you spray paint them, then curve it down, tape it on. Well, actually, I would. I would spray paint it, do some details on it, and then tape it down. So you'll tape it down last. So let me do all that with this spray paint, and then we'll be done. And then I will show you how to do those markings and stuff. Hello. So I finished cutting all of them out. As you can see, they are all tin. And my hands are red now, as you can see. But they are hurting. And actually, I'm going to... Close it down a little bit because what I'm about to do. Aha! Here it is. This is the last ever piece of cardboard that I have. Now, if you're spray painting, you're going to want to keep this so you can put the thing on it and then you can put these on it and then spray paint these. Because I'm going to be doing it outside, obviously. Can't do it inside. But if you're painting, I would recommend you can keep this. You can put you can put one of these on here and start painting with strokes. Now painting, painting is probably gonna take longer because you gotta back and forth, back and forth, and go on to the next one. Well, you can do five spray paint, wait a little to dry, put put the next five on, spray paint, wait for it to dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray paint the first five. And then, I'm going to spray paint the next five, but while the next five are drying, I'm going to use, I'm going to go ahead and get these out and show you how to make, and show you how to do all the markings and stuff on it. Because I actually found a really good image. I will do a link to it in the description to the image. It's okay if it doesn't pop up. You're just going to search around for a little bit, but it should pop up. Really good image. And next time, and in a, it's going to seem like a few seconds to you, and it's actually going to take a while, but in a few seconds, you will see me start to do all the tiny, tiny details on it. Okay. All right, hello. So, I just got done doing this to all ten of them. This is exhausting. Here goes the little tiny details I've done. I started from here. Then work my way down here. I 
I do that to all ten of them. You're going to need to get like a marker or like a sharpie or something that's orange, and then do that on top of. Next, you're going to want to get some tape. Now, actually, I'm going to put it right here on the put it right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put this down. Continue doing that all the way across. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm almost done curving it out. You want to curve it out, and then you can connect it like that so it'll go right through your arm. So you're going to want to put the two ends right there, and then put some tape on top. I would use clear tape for the top. Then you can use whatever color on the bottom since you're not really going to see it. But I'm still going to use clear tape. And there we go. I got one of the ten rings already completed in our model arm. Gonna lift that up a little bit. You can also mess around with the shape a little bit if you want to. But now I'm gonna do this all of them. All right. So you have to get done with all of them. I have finished the ten rings. They're a lot bigger than I expected, so if you're so if you have not done it yet, I would like cut it a little bit to make it a little bit thinner and smaller. It's a little bit too big. But depending on the size, it's probably going to be bigger to bigger and wider. Now I know that in the movie they're blue. For the Mandarin, not for Shang Chi though. For Shang Chi, they're orange. In the Mandarin, spoil. Well, not spoil. The Mandarin died, and then Shang Chi got him. So I'm just making. So I made them orange. And link in the description for the image I used. You might not be able to find it at first, cause it didn't work for me. So I'll leave an image right here. Of what it looks like can't see it really well take a screenshot of it or something and if um and if you can't find and you can use that to try to look for it on line but um that's it for this video see you in the next one Take a journey all the way through time Step forward and rewind No matter where we go, it's you and me We can rewrite history It doesn't matter where